so the question is that someone that is Jewish today, has he always been Jewish? So the Arizal says in Shari Gilgulim that when a person sins, there are different punishments for the person, aside from Geinom. There's also a place called Kafakela, which the Gemara Masechet Shabbat, the last chapter, talks about that. How the angels that fling the Neshama from one end of the world to the other end of the world, why they beat them up and so on. But there's also a different uh, part of punishment that the Arizal talks about, which is reincarnation. Reincarnation is not a reward. Reincarnation is a form of punishment. Now, although this punishment is not very pleasant, nonetheless, punishment is a form of kindness from Hashem. Why? Because what's the alternative? The alternative to this punishment is complete destruction. So it's better to be reincarnated even as a rock, but still have a chance to fix your neshama than to be destroyed completely. So reincarnation happens where a person could literally go to the level, if he ever, if let's say a guy was ever with a non-Jewish woman, and he was intimate with a non-Jewish woman, and he did not do tshuva, before he died, he gets reincarnated as a dog. Many of the dogs you see people walking, they used to be people. Now don't go say, oh no, tzaddik, don't call your dog tzaddik. But nonetheless, this is real, this is true. Uh, sometimes they were, sometimes they weren't. Cats uh, is also a thing. Uh, so, they, so a person could be reincarnated in an animal. A person could be reincarnated in a plant, in a tree, in a fruit, uh, in a rock. There's a pasuk in the Torah that the rocks are screaming. What do you mean the rocks are screaming? There's a pasuk in the Torah, in the Tanakh. The rock is screaming. Do you ever see a rock screaming? Do you ever hear a rock screaming? You can't hear it, but the rocks are screaming. Gemara says actually in Masechet Yoma, when a person cuts a tree, you can't hear it, but the tree is screaming so loud that you can hear it, the scream of the tree until the end of the world. If we were able to hear the screams of the trees, we simply would never ever eat or drink or do anything. If you heard the screams of the tomato, tomato makes when you cut it, orange, Cucumber that you cut it when you the screams you'd never eat you'd kill yourself. So people think that they're vegetarians because they're they're uh, they're they feel bad for the animals. You should feel bad for the tomatoes also. You should feel bad for the uh, orange. You should feel bad for everything if you really want to feel bad go feel okay starve to death then. Where you have more mercy than Hashem. They were created because Hashem created them for a reason to serve a purpose. Now one of the other forms of punishment is that. A Jew could lose his Judaism, meaning a Jew can get punished by being reincarnated as a non-Jew with an obligation to turn back and becoming a Jew. Meaning, their tikkun, the tikkun of this Jew that's now reincarnated as Yoshke, reincarnated as Mustafa, their tikkun in their new life, the way they fix their soul, is by converting back to Judaism. I know one guy who went to a very serious person who says, that's exactly what happened to you in your life. It's exactly what happened to you in your life. That's what you did. You caused, why did he get it? He says, you used to cause Jews to go away from Hashem. You used to cause people to go away from Hashem. That was your punishment. Now you have to, now you have to convert to Judaism and get people close to Hashem. So point is, is that a Jew can uh, lose his Judaism. Now, if he's born a Jew, if he's born a Jew, that means he has been a Jew. Because a Goy can never, can never reincarnate as a Jew. You have to earn being a Jew. Earn being a Jew is to a conversion according to the Torah, not in accordance with what Hashem uh, decides to do for you in, a, uh, in Allah Abba. The only way to, be, to, to, uh, to become a Jew is either to be born one, or because you're already connected to Mount Sinai, or to connect yourself to Mount Sinai by converting to Judaism during your life. But it is possible the opposite, though, where a Jew can die and be reincarnated as a non-Jew. Very good question. Chas shalom, but it happens, unfortunately. It happens. It does, unfortunately. That's actually one of the Chachamim. says that uh, many of the... Uh, Many of the righteous neshamot, 
many of the righteous neshamot being added to Am Yisrael are coming from the conversions. Coming from the conversions. And uh, many converts are uh, a good people. Some are reshaim, but uh, many of them are tzadikim. The Gemara says that the uh, converts are like a skin disease for Am Yisrael. Why converts are like a skin disease? You're supposed to love them more than you love a, uh, a, a natural born Jew. It says converts are like a skin disease for Am Yisrael because number one, if they're uh, good, they show us that we're not doing enough. Natural born Jew is not doing enough. The convert is such a tzaddik. The convert is such a tzaddikah. The natural born Jew says, ah, this guy makes me look bad. Why? Because he goes to Minyan at 4 o'clock in the morning to pray for two hours. You're barely showing up for a 9.30 Minyan. He's learning three, four hours in the morning. In the morning. You barely learn three hours the whole week sometimes. So the convert sometimes, Tzadik makes the Jew look bad. Tzadik. But on the other hand, Gemara says, they're also a skin disease when they're bad converts. Why? Because the bad converts cause a lot of damage. Tam Yisrael, most notably being the Erev Rav. Erev Rav were a bunch of fake converts. But the righteous converts are replacing replacing the Rishayim that have lost their chances. There are certain Rishayim that have gotten several chances from Hashem, several reincarnations, and have never done tshuva. So since Hashem obviously always wants to have a Jewish people, uh, some of these Rishayim are being replaced by converts, righteous converts. So Bezat Hashem, everybody does tshuva, and it's not uh, necessary for, uh, for Hashem to replace, but rather to just add. But nonetheless, this is also one of the ways that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is delivering on His promise to never destroy His people. He's always going to have new righteous people in the world, even if it means that there's going to be a bunch of people converting. That's what the Gemara Masechet Abu Dazara says, that uh, before Mashiach comes, there will be many, many converts, which is actually happening right now.